routine weekly cleaning of the mega home distiller and standard operating procedure that ensures high quality tasty and pure drinking distilled water let me show you first how my distiller looks after a week of daily distillations you will see a lot of rust and salt sedimented on the walls and on the bottom of the chamber you see it's all rusty and there is some gross liquid on the bottom so we need to remove that i'm going to clean it i fill it up with hot tap water and i'm going to add citric acid to it but first we need to plug it in making sure that no water makes it to any of the outlets so be careful here i first plug in to the body and then i plug to the main power outlet i obtained my citric acid you can buy the same one using the affiliate link in the description box below or use your own whatever brand you prefer and i'm adding it to the water here we will see that reaction starts right away even before water in the tank boils i turn the unit on to heat it up to speed up the reaction to remove all those salts you see the bubbles coming up from the bottom and this indicates that the reaction is ongoing the, this cleaning reaction that dissolves all those salts while the water is heating up i'm going to swap the charcoal filter that sits in the nozzle in the lid attached to the lid so i'm going to discard the old charcoal filter usually this is done every 30 days not weekly so this is the only thing that's not timely in this video this is the nozzle that has ceramic lining which prevents water from contacting plastic at any point i'm going to obtain a fresh activate the charcoal filter that comes in those plastic bags be very careful ripping this plastic bag open because by accident you can rip the sachet that has very delicate tissue or paper that it's contained in so we're going to take this sachet and actually rinse it before we place it into the nozzle this makes sure that we are avoiding any dust and as well the added benefit of this procedure is that we can very now we can accommodate and squeeze this filter inside of the nozzle in a very compact and efficient way to prevent creating any alternative pathways for the water to escape without filtration. So I'm going now to press this filter very firmly inside of the nozzle. I'm being very, very firm and assertive by, by, while pressing it in. I will double check that there is no gap for water to escape unfiltered. This is a very important step and making it moist actually really, really helps with this. So we double check that it's all good and we're going to attach the nozzle back to the lid. This requires some effort. So at this point, when we attach the nozzle, we can discard the water used to rinsing the filter. I usually use actually running water. Here is how the reaction progresses as the water in the tank heats up. And I'm going to set a timer for 30 minutes to not forget that I have the distiller cleaning on the somewhere in the kitchen, right? So in about eight minutes, what we see is that water changed color, but it's clear. But we still see that the reaction is ongoing. So it is very valid time, 30 minutes for this to clean. In half an hour, we can revisit our, cha our chamber and... Uh, we can at this point we can just discard this water this this water with acid and salt after it all reacted i'm unplugging the unit from the main outlet and then i'm unplugging it from the body so i'm going to discard this water in the sink be careful it's hot and then what we see that our chamber is pretty clean it's not immaculate but it's still really really good so at this point i'm cleaning and filling it up with hot tap water again after i gave it a couple of rinses and i'm going to plug the unit back in again plugging first the cord to the body then i'm going to mount the lid and plug the lid in because the fan that cools off the condensation line uh, is powered by the same uh, power line as the main unit the heating element and then i'm going to turn on the main power and uh, we're again making sure that all cords are properly engaged and there is no moisture in them to prevent short circuiting. We're not going to use the jug at first. And this is my one glass rule that actually makes sure that we discard this odorous first glass of water that can spoil the whole batch. I'm turning the unit on and I let this first water to collect in the glass. I set the timer not to forget for 50 minutes to one hour because the glass will overflow if you forget about it and then we see that th for 15 minutes before we're done the water starts dripping it finally starts evaporating and condensing so we'll give it another 15 minutes to fill up the glass and then when the glass is full i'm going to 
replace it with the jug, collection jug. And here we can already relax and forget about the distiller because it has an automatic switch when it's done. And I'm going to put pour this water in my house plants. They're totally fine with that. 